Travel. If Instagram profiles, dating apps, and daytime telly have taught us one thing, is that literally everybody in the world loves to hashtag travel. Yet, travel can be a little tricky for numerous reasons, whether it's the extortionate price of flights, lack of a passport, debilitating criminal record, <laughs> me, or if you're watching this video on release, because of the very obvious and surreal situation we're all living through that shall remain unnamed because YouTube algorithms. Seriously, and sincerely though, thank you a million times to the NHS and all key workers during this very strange and uncertain period. But for the rest of us staying indoors, which we hope is the vast majority of you sensible folk, we can turn to our trusty old friend, the video game, to provide us with our sightseeing needs in a stand-in digital form. Yes, whether you're looking for legendary historical landmarks, bustling cityscapes, or natural untouched beauty, video games allow you to enjoy some truly iconic destinations recreated in stunning detail, all without needing to leave the sofa, or even put on any trousers. <laughs> They'll only slow us down on the guided tour anyway. I'm Peter from Triple Jump Travel, and here are 10 real world tourist destinations for video game sightseers. Number 10. The Himalayas, Far Cry 4 Far Cry 4 is often overlooked in favour of its older sibling, releasing only two years after Far Cry 3 and lacking the same impact as the seminal third entry. Which is a bit of a shame really, as soaring high in a rickety old gyrocopter and gazing onto the majestic sights of the Himalayas is still a jaw-dropping experience to this day. Far Cry 4 welcomed players to the fictional country of Kirat, taking major cultural and geographical inspiration from Nepal, and in doing so gave us one of the more unique settings seen in semi-realistic open world games. Ubisoft, like most of the big game development studios, don't always get everything right, but one thing they are famous for is top draw location design, barring the infamous radio towers naturally, and Far Cry 4 was no exception with extensive research trips to Nepal helping the devs get the stunning landscape, wildlife and historic architecture just right. The result? Incredible snaking mountain trails to hidden treasures, elephants bathing in rivers, and serene island structures reminiscent of the real-life Tal Bahari temple. It all gives the exploration a rather soothing, tranquil quality, almost from the start. You know, if you just block out the flying bullets, blaring alarms, and elephants charging down the front gates. Uh, incidentally, mind how you go, because absolutely none of that is covered by travel insurance. Number 9. New York City – Marvel's Spider-Man New York isn't just popular with tourists, cabbies, and people who are walking here. Video game devs also enjoy a bit of the NYC. Whether it's a post-apocalyptic New York in The Division, the zombie-riddled version in Prototype, or 18th century Manhattan in Assassin's Creed 3, there is no shortage of big apples to pluck from this a virtual apple tree of vi video gameness or something. Yet, we can heartily recommend, above all, the Marvel Spider-Man package, 2018 winner of our coveted Best Superhero City Tour Award. You can, uh, <laughs> swing by all the iconic landmarks, from the imperious Empire State Building to Madison Square Garden and the Chrysler Building. <laughs> Merry Chrysler. Even the various bridges to Manhattan Island are accurate here. Times Square at night is a, uh, <laughs> marvel to behold, blinding you with adverts for important things like refreshing Swill Co, or that feel-good hit of the summer, Views from the Veranda. You've also got a few fictional landmarks too, like the Avengers Tower or Doctor Strange's New York Sanctum. And even down to the street level, they've nailed New York's characteristic, constant underlying threat of chaos. It is normal in real life New York to see paramilitary lunatics chasing armed prisoners down Fifth Avenue. Right? Most importantly though, we can see that behind the mask and the crime fighting and the acrobatics and the clever gadgets and the scientific breakthroughs and the pigeon chasing, well, Mr. Peter Parker is just a regular old camera clutching tourist at heart, annoying passers by while trying to get the right composition and lighting. And frankly, you can't get a more authentic NYC holiday experience than that. 
Number 8. Great Britain, Forza Horizon 4 Here's a triple jump travel top tip, driving games are low-key one of the best options for virtual holidays. Uh, sure, you can't exactly drive your car inside the Louvre, nor would we recommend ramming it into the Sphinx, but if you don't mind staying inside the vehicle, there are some truly ambitious open world races with plenty of sights to see. You can take a road trip across the whole of the United States in the Crew 2, or hell, even most of Europe with Euro Truck Simulator. But, and call us biased if you like, nothing beats the beauty of Forza Horizon 4's rendition of our very own somewhat united kingdom. Naturally, the size of the map is scaled back and reserved to the more picturesque areas of the British countryside, no queuing behind red buses in Trafalgar Square here, but who needs London anyway when you can cruise past quaint cottages in the Cotswolds or visit the magnificent Edinburgh Castle? Maybe check out the Chesterton Windmill in Not Quite Warwickshire before winding through the Not Quite Scottish Highlands and finally stopping for lunch beside Derwent Water in the Not Quite Lake District. District. The sights are truly breathtaking, and are exactly what put Forza Horizon 4 in the esteemed category of Tiny Peter's Top Rural British Escapes, taking pride of place next to Untitled Goose Game and Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. <laughs> Have you worked out yet that I personally don't like to leave the country if I can help it? <laughs> Still, it's time to put my marketing face back on and try to sell you on number 7, A World Tour! The Uncharted series. Ah yes, our Nathan Drake package deal. <laughs> we can see that you're a man or woman of fine taste. The globe-trotting star of the Uncharted series has racked up some serious air miles over the years, and now you can too. Now while our legal department has been in touch to say, and I'm quoting here, uh, yes, hello, yes, the ruins are not the real ruins, hello, hello, yes, these ruins are of the fiction, you've still got plenty of beautiful real world locales to choose from in this series, away from some of the more <laughs> outlandish levels. Escape from the Rat Race and Uncharted 1's lush South American rainforest. Join the Rat Race of London's East End in Uncharted 3. Skulk around in, I mean, absorb the culture of Uncharted 2's Istanbul Palace Museum based on the real world Topkapi Palace. Relax in a nice Tibetan village at the foot of the Himalayas. Just try to tune out the absolute racket coming from the nearby country of Kirat. Why not admire the moustache of a young Victor Sullivan in Cartagena, Colombia? or race across the ancient rooftops of Sarnar in Yemen. Honestly, Drake has been everywhere. Madagascar, Borneo, Italy, the list just goes on. Just make sure you avoid train travel at all costs, okay? Number 6, A Historic Town, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Stoke on Trent, oh yeah, to Stoke on Trent. Historic town on the river Trent. Uh, number 5, literally anywhere, GeoGuessr. Technically speaking, GeoGuessr might be the most realistic depiction of real-life destinations in all of gaming, as it consists of, well, actual Google Street perspectives of real-life destinations. Okay, so it barely actually qualifies as a video game, to the point that I could almost call this one a wild card entry! Oh yes, I can still do them from isolation! But you can't deny the simple ingenuity of this concept and the virtual travel capabilities it offers you. This browser-based geographic discovery title created by Swedish IT consultant Anton Vollen lets you go literally anywhere. Want to paddle the awkwardly narrow canals of Venice? Ha! <laughs> Easy! Fancy visiting Rio de Janeiro to see the big JC doing a sweet tea pose? Ha! <laughs> no problem! Want to get stuck in a perpetual loop trying to find the exit to the original Legoland theme park in Denmark? Ha <laughs> ha! Fun times! <laughs> there is no escape! All such locations can be found on the Famous Places playlist, but there are plenty of other fan-made challenges out there, in case you wanted to tour the world's McDonald's chains or discover your favourite places from movies. Then again, maybe you just want the classic experience of being dumped in a random field in, pff, I want to say, 
Belarus, maybe? Hey, it's your holiday. Wherever you're looking to visit, GeoGuessr comes highly recommended by Triple Jump Travel. Uh, there's only one catch, really, in that you don't actually get to choose where you end up, because it's all randomized. Anyway, your flight's booked. Good luck. See you later. Bye. Number four, San Francisco Watch Dogs 2. There's really no shortage of options available for those looking for a comprehensive stateside tour. Whether it's infamous Second Son Seattle, Fallout 4's post-nuclear Boston, or numerous versions of Los Angeles, which we may or may not be coming to shortly. The original Watch Dogs in 2014, of course, produced an impressively realistic portrayal of Chicago. But if you ask us, the safer bet for a holiday is on the more vibrant and sunnier climes of San Francisco, beautifully rendered in Watch Dogs 2. The iconic Golden Gate Bridge is an obvious must-see, but it doesn't stop there. You've got the historic marble white clock tower, the striking Chinatown gates, and the distinctively shaped Coit Tower. Even the finer details are present, like this delightful crab sculpture on Pier 39, or a Silicon Valley tech company that is not Google, okay? This is, this is just some other conglomerate with a fantastic indoor slide and climbing frame, okay? If you're feeling particularly cheeky, of course, you could even visit the local Ubisoft soft office and uh, <laughs> acquire a scoop on their new game, codenamed Pioneer, a nifty little easter egg teasing a game that was actually in development until the project was sadly canned in 2019. If only somebody hadn't leaked the thing in a sad attempt to gain more followers. Ha! <laughs> Bloody tourists. Number 3. Los Angeles, LA Noir. Rockstar's detective thriller slash weird face simulator crafted a superb vision of 1940s and 50s Los Angeles, nailing the landmarks, aesthetic, and the general post-war mood of the time. Honestly, it's hard to find another version of LA with this much character. Go on, go ahead and doubt us. We dare you. <laughs> yeah, see? As with other cities in this list, iconic landmarks have been faithfully recreated. From the elaborate movie sets in downtown Hollywood, as well as Grauman's Chinese Theatre, to LA's Union Station, still the largest railroad passenger terminal in the western US. Oh, and you can bet that the original Hollywood Lund sign is here too. <laughs> nice. Other major tourist attractions include the Crossroads of the World and the Westlake Tar Pits, this game's version of the La Brea Tar Pits, where you can laugh at all the big, dumb, stupid face animals who got stuck in there over the years. <laughs> idiots. As always though, it's the smaller touches that really make this vintage LA shine, such as the old Hollywood Brown Derby restaurant, which has since been converted into apartments in real life, or the lovely new builds that will one day become suburban sprawl. Ah, the relentless march of progress crushing all in its path. Still, at least we get a time-travelling holiday out of it, and a sweet detective hat. Nice. Number 2. Hong Kong – Sleeping Dogs In stark contrast to the oft-depicted City of Angels, not many titles have attempted a digitised version of Hong Kong. But 2012 Sleeping Dogs not only tried it, they captured the charm and culture of the city wonderfully. Take a simple nighttime stroll, swathed in neon lights, the air filled with the sound of street vendors, and you can practically smell the pork buns. Even tiny details like the green taxis or street signs are authentically recreated. All very impressive given this title's tumultuous development cycle. Sleeping Dogs is the spiritual successor to the mid-2000s true crime series. Indeed, it was originally set to be True Crime Hong Kong, revealed in 2009, before Activision pulled the plug in 2011, and the project was rescued by Square Enix. We're very pleased that they stepped in, and you should be too, as now you can shop around in the night market, attend a big event at the convention centre, or maybe enjoy some fine cuisine at the Big Lee Restaurant, aka the Jumbo Restaurant in real world Hong Kong. Not everything's perfect, naturally. The International Finance Centre is missing entirely, for example, and the iconic Victoria Harbour is pared back significantly, but all is forgiven when you find a nice karaoke bar and start belting out the classics. Oh god, on second thoughts, that, that's a bit too authentic for me. Moving on. And number one, another world tour, the Assassin's Creed series. 
In what was Ubisoft's flagship franchise for over a decade, the masters of roof jumping, sneaky stabbing, and map synchronizing have covered just about every dream destination throughout history. The only constant being the developer's dedication to building a world that feels authentic and accurate to the time period. Whether you fancy gate crashing a Venetian carnival, clambering up the righteously imposing Castel Sant'Angelo in the Vatican, gawking at the absolute unit that is Big Ben in Victorian England, or going on a leisurely Caribbean cruise, sea shanties and rum all inclusive, there's literally something for everyone in the Assassin's Creed series. Even the much maligned bug ridden unit couldn't be criticised too heavily for its incredible depiction of 18th century revolution-stricken Paris. Ubi's work was so in-depth that after the tragic Notre Dame fire in 2019, there were many unofficial calls for Unity's model to be used as a template for the restoration. While the French developers themselves donated half a million pounds to the cause and gave away the game for free for a limited time. Now with the most recent creeds, Origins and Odyssey, we've reached peak virtual time tourist, thanks to the gorgeously rendered portrayals of ancient Egypt and Greece, respectively. Seeing the Parthenon in its magnificent prime, or sliding down the Great Pyramid of Giza at breakneck speed, are experiences you literally can't get anywhere else. Not only are these titles the perfect places to go ham with photo mode, they also feature educational discovery tour modes letting you soak in the culture and learn a bit of history, meticulously researched by the world-building teams at Ubisoft, and all without shanking a single person with a sleeve shiv. I mean, you can if you want to, but if you've booked via Triple Jump Travel, you will not be getting your deposit back at the end, so your choice. And that's our list. All your dream destinations, none of which require any packing or lengthy travel. And best of all, it's free! Although we do charge a rather hefty commission for having recommended them to you in the first place, so expect an invoice in the post. Uh, but while you're waiting for that, let us know in the comments below if any of your favourite gaming holiday destinations were missed out. You can follow myself and Triple Jump on Twitter here, and if you want to support the things you enjoy, then check out the rewards on our Patreon. Finally, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. I've been Peter from Triple Jump, and thanks for watching.